Howdy folks, TJ here. Oh, I'm doing my little 2022, uh, what do you call it, New Year's resolutions. You know, the, 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 and, and the uh, wonderful Coleco Adam is helping me because, uh, uh, yeah, this thing's heavy, it's huge, and uh, takes up a lot of real estate on my desk, and I hardly uh, have been using it because it takes up so much real estate on my desk. I wonder if there's a solution for this. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's helping me. Uh, helping me keep in shape, uh, dropping a few pounds, and uh, yeah, let's let's chat about the the, the kind of the heavy thing in the room. Uh, that printer. <laughs> Let me redirect direct the camera over here because there's a solution. And James, well, I wrote down his name, James uh, Walters. Thank you very much. I purchased a goodie from him to make my ColecoVision Adam a much fun much funner experience. So let me shift things around here and we're gonna yap about just that. So I'm probably not gonna bloop this out because I normally yap a little bit more as I uh, discuss things. Uh, but yeah, the uh, ColecoVision uh, Daisy Wheel printer, it is kind of neat. I'll admit that, it is kind of neat. And when I was first buying my ColecoVision, I thought, yeah, no big deal. A little bit of real estate. To never hurt anybody, right? Real estate normally is, is good. Uh, you make some money from it. But in the case of a DZ wheel printer taking up a massive amount of room, it's not fun. So is there a solution? Yes. Uh, are they readily buyable today all the time? I don't think so because I, I luckily got my name in on one. I saw a post in one of the Facebook groups for Coleco Vision Adam and he said, hey, I've made a few. They're for sale. And I've seen some other folks say, oh, I'm not going to miss out on this. And so I quickly said, oh, I need this device because I want to use my Coleco Vision Adam more in 2022. I'm a newbie to Coleco Adam. Uh, do you have to say Coleco Vision every time? Coleco Vision Adam, Coleco Adam? I'm just gonna say Coleco Adam. It, it, it's a little easier. But what did I purchase? And it even, I mean, this device looks the part. Look at this. This is an external power supply that, because if you're not familiar, Coleco Adam, Coleco Vision Adam. <laughs> gets its power from the big Daisy Wheel printer. Now, I don't mind Daisy Wheel printers. In fact, I am of an age where I worked for a company that provided technical support, service parts, repairs on QUME, Q-U-M-E uh, product, which include terminals, laser printers, and also letter quality Daisy Wheel printers. So I'm quite familiar with Daisy Wheels. And yeah, you could sell the hell out of ribbons and Daisy Wheels later because you needed to replace them periodically. So it was kind of a neat thing, neat idea. Would I have preferred it be a dot matrix printer? Yes. <laughs> I think dot matrix would have allowed you to do more, especially graphics, uh, uh, you know, kind of, uh, with dots put in specific areas or asterisks put in specific areas. Daisy Wheel, you're kind of locked into whatever that Daisy Wheel has. But long story short, they do make a nifty device. And on the top of this, it says, Adam, the ColecoVision Family Computer System Power Supply. This basically replaces the power source of that big old daisy wheel. Now, if I need to print daisy wheel stuff, I guess I can connect it back up. Needless to say, I don't think I'm going to have that in 2022. But the product, it's not cheap, I'll admit. Uh, but I am the type that pays for quality. I'm the type that pays for convenience. And um, 100 and... Uh, I think it was $99 plus shipping. Shipping was like $27. So it was just a little under $130. Bucks. And you get this glorious box that looks the part. Has a nice little, you know, Atom sticker on top. The back of it, it even came with a power cord to connect. It's a generic power cord. There's an on-off button over in the front. So easily touched. So, and there's even a little light on the front, LED. And there's one cable that comes out of it that connects to your ColecoVision Atom. So we're going to connect this up. We're going to test it for the first time. And again, it looks good. It's, um, um, I'm going to guess about 8 inches long five inches wide and three tall. Let's see how close I am. I've got a little, uh, uh, what did I say? Uh, I said eight by uh, five by three. So, uh, oh, <laughs> look at that, eight. Okay, is that coming in? I don't want you to think I'm a liar, that's eight. Okay, let's see how I'm going on this other one. Holy smokes, 
That is really close to five. Oh, I don't want to scratch this thing up. I will spit on it plenty though, but it was just a little under five and two, uh, I'm a little off on this one. This is about two and a uh, quarter deep. So not bad. I guess my visual eyes are kind of telling me that, uh, yeah, it's kind of that. So let me connect it up. Uh, there is basically one cord that connects, uh, did I say connects? Yeah, connects to the side of my Atom. Cable just went in nice and smoothly. I'm plugging in this power cord in the back. I've already got the other end connected to a surge strip. So let's make sure, uh, let me run this cable under. I don't want it. there we go. Okay, uh, connected. All right, cool, uh, TV on. Now do I have this all in camera still? Uh, yeah, I think that's good enough. This, this doesn't need to have a close up of it. The TV's on, okay, so power supply. We're gonna flick on the little button that's down here on the front and see what happens. I've got my one and only Qbert, that's all I own right now, uh, and my joypad uh, connected, so three, Two, one. Hey! <laughs> uh, who needs a daisy wheel printer? I do, I do. I want to print a daisy wheel document to send out a uh, letterhead to, <laughs> yeah, says no one. <laughs> Just like uh, my, my weightlifting thing with the, uh, the, the letter quality printer. This is my uh, way to get my calisthenics in for the day. Said no one <laughs> for the uh, daisy wheel uh, datum printer. Okay, so... Power, working, video, light, oh, can you see the light from there? Uh, yeah, look at how bright that is. It's actually shining off the desk, so it is a little bit of a laser beam sharp light. Uh, let's go ahead and reset and play one quick round of Cubert, uh, because you know how good I am at Cubert. Oh, God. <laughs> Power, everything's working. Oh, that's right. I'm cube. I'm not. I'm not good at these isometric. What do you call it? Yeah, son of an elf. Does that say elf? <laughs> I I I have problem pointing the joystick in the right direction. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I never complete anything in this game. Up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Up, up, jump over. That's right, I jumped up on that son of a bee. Okay, down, over, down, up, down, 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 over. <laughs> I did it. I think that's the first time in like a bazillion years I actually did it. Uh, so this video is not about how good I play Qbert. It's how good this little nifty device is. Look at this little thing. It's small, it looks the part. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of my Adam now. What's next? Oh, I need to buy more goodies. I need to um, get a device that lets me... I know they make a cartridge that you can put all sorts of Coleco games on. And that's another hundred and some odd dollar scratch. They make some DDD, DDE devices. Uh, and, and that seems to be one also that I'm no longer making them. Uh, and so it's going to be a little bit harder. Maybe I have to make my own. I'll explore those things for now. Wonderful device. Thanks, James, for selling me one. I look forward to many years of fun out of my Coleco Atom. Bye, folks. If you need any more info on this power supply, um, I would say visit the Facebook groups and uh, just look for, look for James Walters and keep an eye on when he has more, if he has more, and uh, buy one for yourself. It's a great device. Bye.